All right, so we're inside of GoDaddy Pro Sites. To get here, you can go to prosites.godaddy.com. It's free to sign up if you're not a member to get all access to all of these different features and perks. But I'm going to assume that you've already added your website into this dashboard. Uh, if you haven't, you'll just click this little plus sign up here, go to add website and kind of go through the process of entering your URL, your username, your password and all that good stuff. But I'm gonna go back to the website dashboard to jumpstart this lesson. From here, I can do things like check out my updates, look at my hosting, optimize certain elements of my sites, check out my backups, my notifications, uptime, all that good stuff. Uh, but from here, you're gonna mouse over and go to backups. And then you'll have this option here. Uh, again, if you haven't activated this yet, it's a pretty quick activation, um, either free if you're on GoDaddy hosting or $1.40 a month. Uh, and you can even go and kind of modify this as well. Whether you want daily, weekly, every two hours, every six hours, even every hour, it's pretty crazy. Um, but back on this overview page, we have the option to clone the website. Uh, I can either use whatever my latest backup is, or I can create a brand new backup from right now. I'll typically do it from right now because I've been working on the site um, beyond my last website backup. And then from here, I have three different options. I have existing website and pro sites. I have the same domain on new server and I have a new website. And I'm gonna break each of those steps down. So existing website and pro sites is by far the easiest method here. This is, I have this website already inside of GoDaddy Pro and I have my other website already in GoDaddy Pro. And for this, this website, the main, the, the source website, if you will, will be something like dev.domainname.com. Um, and then the live site will of course be the live domain. Now I have a fresh copy of WordPress on there. Uh, it's already added on here. There's nothing really going on. So we're cool to overwrite it, but you would just enter in the destination URL. Uh, I'm just going to go to hosting channel. Uh, this little temp site I have here, I can create a brand new admin. I can update the search engine visibility options and then click clone. And then it starts migrating over. I can just sit back and relax and all the work's being done for me. Again, this is the easiest method inside of GoDaddy Pro. You can get it just for having those backups activated. Now, if I want the same domain on a new server, uh, basically I'll just have to go through a couple more steps. I need to enter in the temporary URL or the IP address of the server. Typically I'll enter the IP address, but for just the, the demo sake, I'll just add that in test that URL. Cool. I can access it. And now this is where you'll need a lot more of the server information. So you'll need the FTP host username, password port installation path, and the database host database name, database username, and database password. A little bit more involved. You can save the connection info. And then you have the same kind of options of creating a new admin, change a prefix, and then the SEV SEO settings here, and then click clone. And then it clones the site for you. And now if you're gonna do a brand new website and this website is hasn't been added to GoDaddy Pro just yet, uh, same sort of ordeal. I'm gonna use my temporary, my other website here. I'm gonna test it. And after testing and, and it sees it can connect, it's gonna ask for those same information about my FTP details and my database details. I would enter those in and then click clone. Again, by far easier just to add both sites to your, your Pro Sites dashboard and just use the, the existing websites in Pro that way you just entered in, click clone, and then just sit back and relax. There's nothing more that you have to do. That's how to migrate your website using GoDaddy Pro. And either free if you're using GoDaddy hosting or $1.40, which is the amount of time you save from doing this over a main migration. It's kind of worth it. In the next lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to use all-in-one WP migration to migrate a website.